Microsoft Teams is a great way to stay connected to your team members. In this video, we'll run through five Teams tips. We'll talk a little bit about how to correct a spelling mistake in a message that you've already sent in a Teams chat, what Control E does, how to pop out, favorite and pin a chat, how to test call, and also how to share your desktop or window in a Teams call. Sometimes when you're speaking to a colleague in a chat and touch typing whilst you're doing other things, you can sometimes send a message with a spelling mistake in it. After you've sent a message, press the up arrow on your keyboard and it will open an edit screen where you can change the last message you sent. Then press enter to resend the new message. This is a really useful shortcut, which means you don't need to click on the dot dot dot, then select edit every time you need to change a message. On your keyboard, Pressing Ctrl E will give you quick access to the search bar at the top of Teams. Now you're in the search bar, if you press the forward slash, it will show you all the commands that you can use to easily navigate to different locations, to access specific content or even to set your status. Another way for you to access this list of commands is by pressing Ctrl forward slash on your keyboard. You can now pop out a chat within Teams. To do this, Go into the chat you wish to pop out and select the pop out icon, which is located on the top right hand side of Teams. It will then open a separate chat away from the main Teams window. You can also access the pop out option by hovering over the person's name on the left hand side of your screen and clicking the icon that will appear. Or you can double click the person's name to pop it out. And finally, you can either right click on the person's name or click the dot 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 to access the pop out option. Within this list that appears when you right click, you can also pin chats and add that person or group to your favourite contacts. Pinning or favouriting your contacts or groups will mean they're easily accessible to you. Here's a quick tip in Teams. You can test calls by typing forward slash test call in the search box of Teams. You'll then be able to launch a test call with Microsoft. You'll be able to record a short message and listen to Microsoft play it back to you. You will then get a summary of the performance. When you're in a video call in Microsoft Teams, you have the option to share your desktop or your window. To do this, you will need to be on a video call in Teams. Before you share anything with another person, remember to close Outlook. Otherwise, people who you share your screen with will be able to see pop-up messages that reveal the content of a newly received email. Now hit the share button. If you want to look at multiple things, for example, sharing a couple of spreadsheets that you want to flip between, then you should share desktop. Alternatively, you can share window if you just want to share the one application. This is great if you're presenting using PowerPoint. You can start the PowerPoint show and share the window that that show is on rather than the PowerPoint in editing mode. To stop sharing your screen, press the share button again. We hope you found this video useful. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our socials.